right? It's, uh, just, uh, on, I was watching a video of, of Horror's Ball. Uh, he had his one buddy there. And they were doing a, uh, top ten. I didn't see the first, the first part to that. I should go watch that. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. I, I love, I love, uh, I know how cheesy it is to do for top tens and, and stuff like that, but, uh, it's one of those things for horror fans to, you know, talk about your favorites every now and then. We're always talking about all these horror movies and, and just everything that goes, you know, it's great to just talk about your favorites every now and then. And our top 10 switch so much. I, and I'm pretty sure Tom knows what I mean. I don't know if you'll, if you'll see this video, but this is inspired by him. And plus, Halloween's coming. And I haven't done this since I started uh, doing videos on YouTube. So it's been a long fucking time. And it's changed since then. And actually... My favorite horror movie of all time has actually changed. It's weird to say that since the other one was so long, but it's just I couldn't deny the other one. I, for me, actually, I had to categorize them as one and two, but they're both my favorites. So, anyway, we'll get to that. But uh, so yeah, inspired by Horace Ball, love their love their top ten. And one movie that both guys picked on the list, him and his buddy, Cannibal Holocaust. They did a couple, but they actually picked number two for for both of them. Their number two pick was Cannibal Holocaust. And man, you know, all these years I ha that I haven't seen it, I have not seen it. No. Nope heard many many things about it but uh, it's one of those movies that you hear all the stuff about and you wanted to see it but I just never got around to getting it and it's not the easiest thing to get because it's not in stores obviously you have to order it online but uh, that's when I have to get a watching you guys talk about it uh, yeah so inspired by Horace Ball let's go so number ten is the stuff, and what I what I'm trying to do here is uh, just want to wanted to find posters of these movies that are pretty rare, just to put up on on the video here. That's why I'm doing this through a different format of taping videos. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, the stuff. Cheesy ass 80s horror movie that to me has some of the greatest gore effects and the cheesiest gore effects all in one movie. Because sometimes the gore effects could be just amazing in the movie, but then other times it's, it's like, it's like, uh, so cheesy and I, I, if you've seen this movie you know what I'm talking about um, this stuff has always been a favorite of mine it, you know I finally just got it on DVD a few years back and and uh, that was amazing just doing that getting it it was actually at the store of all places but uh, so made in 1980s it was a crazy crazy horror movie that uh Brings back childhood memories, actually. That is a shocker, right? For me. Um, I could go on and on about this movie. Just the, just for the effects alone. And the acting was horrible. <laughs> but that's what I loved about it. It was it was pretty bad. And you just, you just want to laugh at it. Cause, and, and keep watching them. Because the effects does that to you. And... You know, I've seen actual people with the stuff, the the 
the container they made it or whatever they found it I don't know but uh, that's one hell of a movie so there you go number 10 and number 9 -er. get that a bit bigger I found this online this poster and uh, I think Evil Dead is speaking of gore effects you know there's some cheesy ass gore effects i think sam raimi said uh, something about applesauce being used in it at one point in the gore effects uh of course bruce campbell uh stills the show and he, he does basically in all the these evil dead movies but the the first one is such a classic that it's it speaks for itself you know it's there's so many great scenes that I, I love them in that movie it's they're all like there's there's iconic scenes now that we all love you know you know you just think about that movie and you can't you can't th stop thinking about the scenes like the camera work in it was quite possibly the most amazing you had ever seen for its time uh, I still think to this day it's still some of the best camera work you'll ever see in a horror movie just just over the top type stuff like um, when his his girlfriend comes out of the grave and walking towards him he grabs he grabs a shovel and she's just walking all of a sudden the next scene shows she's flying through the air and he's this is when the evil dead got really good too it was pretty slow up until this point and all of a sudden she's like flying in the air uh he grabs a shovel chops the head off and of course it comes down on him and he's it's just total craziness they actually do a scene like that in the evil dead part two that's almost the same but the 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 first one seemed more realistic if that's a thing, if that's a word for a horror movie, is there realism in horror movies like that, you know, with crazy gore effects and stuff like that? But anyway, there you go, there's number nine. Number ten, I, I can't deny it because it's just, it's a Christmas horror. I cannot deny it as one of my favorite horror movies ever. And... I know I watch it every Christmas, but I could literally watch this any time of the year. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, just, ex for its time, it was extremely controversial. Not just controversial, extremely controversial. Uh, it got banned uh, because of its Santa Claus, portraying Santa Claus as a killer. Uh, it was a slasher movie, you know, and well, you can see in the picture, he's that's the the famous poster that got the you know what the movie these these people that got it banned back and they did not even see the movie, they saw this this poster right right there, this poster, and that's it, they were on a on a mission to get it banned because Santa Claus. Of course, the hand holding the axe, and they didn't like that. So, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I may have to do this in a two-parter like uh, Horace Baldy, because I'm starting to go off on these horror movies, and I knew that I would start talking to them, but uh, talking about them. Um, yeah, it, there's obviously controversial scenes in the movie too but they're so over the top that you just love it you just love silent night deadly night and i know there's a horror f horror movie fan out there that does not like this it's it's one of those horror movies that it pleases every every horror fan of every type like gore addicts uh uh, cheesy f fucking fun addicts atmosphere it's even got atmosphere it does <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you the guy that played Santa Claus Billy 
whoever the actor was, was actually pretty creepy at some times, you know. It did get ridiculous sometimes, but it also did get the creepy factor in it with him wearing the Santa Claus outfit and everything, but... Yeah, there you go. So that was... Number eight. Number seven. Yes. The thing. And, uh... Speaking of atmosphere, and this was, I think they had it on their top 10 list too. The thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, the original. Not the, not the original. This is actually a remake to the 1951 classic, um, The Thing, and in brackets, From Another Planet. But uh, there's also a, a remake to John Carpenter's Thing. It's actually not a remake, it's a prequel leading up to it, but. I won't get into all that. <laughs> I was talking about the stuff score effects, the Evil Dead score effects, but this could quite possibly be the best score effects in history. You guys were saying that too, and I, I think maybe the best all around, all around horror movie could be the thing because, uh, fuck, I need a beer, don't I? <laughs> bit too early for that um, yeah yeah never too early for it but uh, <laughs> the thing where was it best all around horror movie Carpenter's a fucking genius you know he, he just does it this is the, the one horror movie that I could watch over and over there are many that I could do that but you know, you, you watch it and you wait a long time to watch it, right? But this is one you could just watch weekly. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the Thing is one of those movies. One of those horror movies that you could watch, like, just all the time and be, like, just amazed by it every time you fucking see it. I think, you know, with the gore effects and everything. Just, and, and speak it, you know... This is another movie with iconic scenes and moments that that uh, a lot of people have taken, a lot of horror fans have taken like a liking to, like a loving to, you know. It's, it's a love fest sometimes with the uh, horror fans and the thing. And anyway. It's over! Time to get shit-faced!